back with another unboxing video. For the balloons over here, those are from my graduation ceremony. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I know. Recent graduate of Utica University. Sounds pretentious for a college name, but whatever. Let's get into it. I wanted to make this video way, 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 way back, like at least two weeks ago, but I got busy, caught up with a bunch of stuff. You do what you have to do, you know what you I mean? Let's just get right into it. We have a new store to talk about. It is called Swiss Link. So they're based out of, I want to say San Diego, because that's what I saw on their website. So Swiss Link is yet another military surplus store. They specialize in a lot of military surplus from all over the world, despite their name, Swiss Link. It's not just stuff from Switzerland. It's stuff from all over the world, various different European countries. And in this case, you're going to find out what country I ordered from. Now, let's get into it and let's not make this video longer than it has to be. Yes, you guys get to see this bad boy again. I did order something else back in April, but unfortunately, me being the smart one that I am, I had it placed on my debit card because for some reason the credit card wasn't going through. I did order from Gray Shop again. Good, why not? I accidentally labeled it as fraudulent, as a fraudulent purchase. Now I have to order a new debit card and I have to remake that purchase again. So <laughs> go me, right? There was another unboxing video that I could have done way back last month. Unfortunately, I accidentally labeled that purchase as fraudulent, so I guess I'll just have to make it again in the near future. Don't you worry, there will be more in the future. What we have today is something a little bit different. So we have some elbow pads and some knee pads. The elbow pads are in woodland camouflage. Yeah, so this is an M81 woodland camouflage and this is just simple OD green. Now you're wondering, where did this come from? Where did these knee pads, elbow pads came from and why the heck did I even buy them? To answer the first question, they came from the Netherlands. Yeah, they're from the Netherlands. They're very simple knee pads, elbow pads. Can't really say too much about them. They're just like additional protection for, you know, the infantry, just in case if you're going in rough terrain and stuff happens and say you trip and fall, you got these bad boys that protect your limbs. You gotta think of a jig. <laughs> this is how you can tell I didn't do so hot in biology in college. That's why I changed my major to accounting and then I switched it again to business management. But that's a different story for another time. To answer the second question, why did I buy these? First of all, I'm thinking about going hiking again sometime in the near future. I don't know when that's supposed to happen, but I am going to go hiking. I want to make a vlog video on that, and I figure I'd wear these as a way to make sure that if I were to fall, the impact would be cushioned and it wouldn't mess up my extremities. Second of all, I'm trying to do this sort of cosplay thing. I know that it was initially one of my big reasons for getting into the class of military surplus i wanted to do military cosplay thought it was cool i've linked up with a bunch of people on instagram followed some big accounts and stuff like that followed the news got into the hobby and stuff like that and i just figured you know why not so yeah that's pretty much it just in case there's two there's not just one it's kind of just like all bunched up together so that way it fit in the box two knee pads which are really big they're bigger a lot bigger than i thought they were two elbow pads again they're like bunched up so you think there's only one but there's actually two what i'm thinking was that on gray shop when i was looking around there perusing and looking for surplus russian gear i found a whole lot of these stuff and i figured why order one too many when you can just have a one size fits all they're elbow pads and knee pads yeah so i figured they're just elbow pads knee pads you can kind of throw them together in whatever kit that you want you really can't tell the difference they all look the same not much different you can throw them together in whatever little gear that you're running with whether it be american gear some european gear some russian gear even chinese gear that's pretty much it I don't know why it took me so long to open this box. Again, I was probably busy or whatnot. I had to go through this dilemma with my debit card being locked out because I accidentally labeled my gray shop purchase a fraudulent purchase instead of, you know, actually having it go through. So here I am showing these bad boys off. That's the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think about these knee pads, elbow pads. This is the knee pad. This is the elbow pad. That is pretty much it for the video. Any future military surplus videos coming out in the later future is probably going to be either the stuff from previous months or stuff later down the line because i'm kind of broke right now and i need money it's hard to actually maintain a hobby when you know you have a minimum wage job you know how the saying goes pull yourself up by the bootstrap and get it done that is it for the video i made this way longer than it had to be so i will see you guys later whenever the next video comes out or whenever i decide to get a, yeah, another packet as per usual bye hey don't respond. I know cuz I
something that I want. I just feel like something really just high, and I can't hold a Too fast with losing the grip. I'm dogging a hawk, but I'm scared of the cat. Fuck trust, I'm putting on the hat.